Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Kitor, uh, and I'm going to be hopefully speedrunning <laughs> <laughs> Renegade Platinum for you. Uh, as we go through the intro, um, I'll explain probably what's obvious on the screen, which is the 60 FPS patch. Uh, the 60 FPS patch, basically, what it allows for is instant text and sort of an unlocked frame rate. Uh, so the game's going to go quick. Uh, which is why we can finish it in, hopefully, a short time. Let's obviously see how that goes. Uh, so that's basically explained there. So it'd be instant text, instant HP bars, uh, and unlocked frame rates. Uh, we're going to go do frame 12, because it's the best. And I'll explain Renegade Platinum. So Renegade Platinum is a difficulty hack, a uh, difficulty slash enhancement hack made by Treyano. Uh, he's done a lot before, so you may have played, for example, Sacred Gold, uh, Storm Silver, uh, Blaze Black, Vault White, uh, something like that. Uh, what that means is there's going to be lots of changes to teams, to Pokemon, to uh, you know extra fights, things like that. I'll obviously explain them as we go through. Um, and you can see we got running shoes on the bike straight away, which is a great change. Uh, obviously, because of the unlocked FPS, please do not expect a fantastic movement. <laughs> it is really difficult to do. Um, but we'll try our best. So, the starter we're going to pick, we're not going to use the starter, but we are going to pick Turtwig. We're actually only going to uh, use Turtwig for two fights, this being one of them. Now, the rival fight in Platinum uh, is always kind of difficult, to be fair. Um, just because you can't obviously like level up for it, and uh, you, there's certain things that change. So, for example, crit locks are put into place. You can't get a critical hit in this fight, I'm pretty sure. Um, but Turtwig has the best chance of winning this. Uh, it's actually more difficult in this hack, uh, where in Vanilla Platinum, uh, your rival will have zero IVs in everything. In this hack, he has 31 IVs in everything. So you're basically fighting a start of an identical level with perfect stats. So it makes it kind of difficult. But Turtwig is best to do that. Um, we picked Turtwig for a couple different reasons. One of them is the fact that it wins that fight uh, more often than not. Not all the time, but it does. Um, another reason is because it is the only starter that learns Rock Climb, uh, which we'll obviously need later. Uh, that was not what I was meant to do, actually. Um, I'm going to... <laughs> that was a mistake by me. Um, I meant to obviously still take low amount of grass. I, I do want to speak to that Clark um, after. Thankfully, because his battles go so quick, it's actually not too big of a mistake. And so we can't escape from something. Okay. <laughs> uh, but we're going to speak to that potion clock, because in this game it gives you 10 potions. Um, but we're going to do that on the second trip, uh, because we get repels soon. Which again is quite a nice, uh, quite a nice aspect of this hack, where in vanilla you don't get repels till after the first gym. But here you get them straight away. I mean, not straight away, but close enough to it. Uh, we're not going to nickname any of our Pokemon uh, because obviously, with uh, the instant text, it makes zero difference and it's uh, slower to just go into the menu. Okay, um, once we go through this stuff, so obviously all the stuff to do with the uh, town map and uh, Barry's mum. Uh, we're going to get an Eevee. We're going to save here. Uh, the reason we need to save here is we need the Eevee to have adaptability, so 50% chance. Obviously it's got 50% chance of adaptability or 50% chance of runaway. Definitely doesn't feel like that sometimes, uh, but that is the case. So obviously saving a lot of data, uh, obviously Gen 4 is 
notorious for having extremely slow save times. Let's see. Serious adaptability. Very nice. Uh, actually, I want to keep Turtlewig up front for now. We don't switch just yet. Uh, we're going to lapel. And get our 10 potions. So the second fight we're going to use Turtwig for is this one here, which is weird because there's not normally a fight here, right? Instead of a catching tutorial, um, they decide to actually make you fight Lucas uh, with a level 9 Piplup. So again, this is also why Turtwig's very useful. Uh, we can just absorb here and allow us to win the fight. Now, We're not going to do that the whole way. Because what we actually want to do is finish off with Eevee. Just to get a bit of experience on Eevee. The early game for this uh, is very tricky. Very tricky. Uh, you will see what I mean. Switch Eevee to the front, repel and potion. Uh, you'll see by the rosters that these, uh, obviously, compulsory trainers have. Um, they are quite difficult. Obviously, some of them are just like Sentra, but you can already see they're actually quite high level. That's a really nice crit there. So, obviously, cover is a very nice move to have initially. Uh, and it's the main reason why we want adaptability, is it just makes the uh, early game so much easier. This Hoo Hoo's really bad, it outspeeds. Oh, okay, in this case it's a speed tie. Uh, quite often it will outspeed. Um, and it'll uh, use Hypnosis. So, obviously not ideal there. Okay, so it's not going too bad so far. Um, I will play it a little bit safe and just potion here. Probably don't need to, but... We probably need to potion in the fight anyway. Uh, and last battle on this route, uh, we've got a Growlithe with... Um, Intimidate, so that makes the rest of the fight quite difficult. Thank you. Very nice raid. Hello, one. Okay, so, reached Uber Life. Uh, no real issues. Uh, we've definitely got a few more fights we need to do here. Um, mostly to prepare ourselves for a couple different things. Thank you for the good luck. Appreciate it, guys. Hopefully we'll be okay. Okay, so we're going to go into the trainer school. Um, just like Diamond and Pearl, with the trainer school, uh, if you fight these two trainers and beat them, uh, you'll get a TM for hidden power, which we will actually use later on. Um, uh, that was. Uh, that's fine. Having cover PP is probably actually quite useful. Uh, we're going to get rid of attack with a quick attack. Quick attack can be useful. Again, not the most important thing, but uh, we definitely want to do that. I'm gonna heal here and then quick attack, just to make sure. This EV is actually very good, so um, hopefully <laughs> that should make the early game, which as I said is fairly uh, brutal at times, um, a little bit easier. Okay, so, we can get the Hidden Power TM here. Um, I'll explain what we're going to use this for. Uh, I'm... Uh, whoops. Eevee is not actually going to be our main for this run. Uh, we will have a main later on. Um, if you have not uh, watched a run of this, um, I would imagine there is zero chance uh, you'll be able to guess what the main is. 
uh, but we will be able to explain the reasoning behind it uh, why in a bit. Uh, so we're going to get a TM for Water Pulse. Um, that might give away what this EV is going to become. Uh, I'm going to grab this potion again, just for a little bit more safety. Uh, and I actually need to use a potion. Oops. And we're going to fight this trainer. It's a spinner, so it's quite nice to actually get rid of, uh, you know, luck dependencies of them. Um, nice crit. So, we'll do that. It also gets us to a nice level for both uh, the Rival 2 and um, for uh, Rock as well. So, the extra XP here is very nice. Okay. Now we're going to uh, go back to the center. We're going to do a little quiz. And we're going to fight these guys. Uh, so, these guys, what they do, there's uh, reporters actually in, um, I think up to a Turner City, if I remember. And they give you the free starters of the first three gens. Uh, you can actually, I didn't say this actually, but you can actually get uh, the other two Gen 4 starters in uh, Oak's Lab. Um, Oak Lab? Uh, sorry, <laughs> Rowan's Lab. Um... But we don't need to get them. We do want to get these ones though, and it's not for actual um, starter purposes. It's actually for the items they hold. You can see each one of them holds their respective type boosting item. Okay, so we do that also to heal Eevee, because uh, we're out of cover PP, and uh, we want to be able to. I'm not going to save for this because we've just been to a poker center, so if, you know, if we wipe here, it's really actually not that big of an issue. Hopefully we won't. Uh, but I'll explain why that could be an issue, potentially. Uh, okay, oh, that's a really annoying, actually. <laughs> I think if I used cover there, it would have been uh, better, but... I'm going to tail whip here. I'm obviously my... Ah, okay. <laughs> I've slightly messed up there. Uh, I hope this isn't going to be too much of an issue. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that uh, Munchlax can be an issue. Also, a nice little uh, perk of cover there. Uh, we get to steal the berry, but yeah, that fight went perfectly fine. Uh, right, we want a potion to full repel, and we're going to use a silk scarf. This next fight is actually kind of uh, scary, so I'm going to uh, save here. Again, although I'd only be sent back to the Pokemon Center, um, I really don't want to have to keep on losing um, money and stuff like that, so money... It, Initially, it's kind of tight, but it's not too bad uh, later on. Um, but this fight here is kind of rough. Um, so, I think we've got good attack, but I'm a bit worried. So, I'm gonna just uh, actually, no, let, let's risk this. Yeah, that looks good. So, we bite here and cover if we can, because obviously the flinch chance is really useful. It is a very long save animation. <laughs> Unfortunately, um,. Yeah, uh, they weren't really able to sort of saw that from Gen 4. <laughs> I don't think it was able to be fixed. Okay, I'm going to bite here as well. Uh, again, Cubone has uh, Sing, I think. <laughs> I think it's Sing. It has like a lot of issues uh, that can happen. So, once again, we'll bite for the flinch chance, which we get. So, actually, th this run's going pretty well so far. Um, obviously a bit annoying with the safety saves and stuff, but no real issues.
Okay, so you can see, obviously, they restructure some of the uh, trainers. Uh... Oh, I've still got a repel going. Um, they restructure some of the trainers uh, and their positions. Um... So we have to actually fight these two, and we have to fight a fair few in uh, the route before that we wouldn't normally have to uh, in vanilla. Um, I skipped, obviously, through the text that the hiker said. Now, if you saw that, Basically, the hike alludes to the fact that a lot of the HMs have actually been removed in this game, or the need for the HM has been removed. So, for example, he gives you Rock Smash. Rock Smash, actually, um, there are no Rock Smash rocks. Uh, instead, where they used as a roadblock to pre uh, prevent you sort of going out of sequence, um, they end up uh, using other things instead. So it just means you can obviously not have to teach those HMs to your Pokemon. Which is obviously a really nice... Uh, Really nice thing, and it will speed up the speed run by quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna get the super potion. Rourke shouldn't be an issue, I don't think, but just in case. Okay. Uh, grab the escape rope, obviously, to uh, get out of here quicker. Uh, now. Obviously, Rourke being a rock type, we've got Eevee, uh, would be an issue, but thankfully, Rourke actually gives us a water stone, so we're going to actually uh, equip the Mystic Water, use the water stone itself to evolve Eevee into Vaporeon. Uh, we're going to teach Water Pulse over Tail Whip, because Quick Attack can be marginally useful at points, so I don't want to teach over that just yet. Okay, and we want her to wiggle alive, so I'm going to heal at the center. It's actually quicker because of the 60 frames per second patch to heal at the center rather than PC heal at any point, obviously, because we're wanting to heal both Hurtwig uh, and Vaporeon. Uh, we want to sort of do that anyway. So, we're going to fight this trainer for a bit more experience. Really important in hitting a range. Um, again, we buy it and water pulse these because... Uh, well, actually, I, d I was meant to just do that on Armanite. The buy it for uh, Kabuto makes no difference. But we get level 17 and that's going to really help us with Rock's first Pokemon. Rock's first Pokemon, sorry. Which is a Nose Pass. Now, the Nose Pass obviously has a Thunder Wave. Well, I say obviously, it has Thunder Wave. Uh, so, massive issue if you don't KO. That crits don't think is necessary with the uh, special attack we have and at level 17. So, we can mostly sweep uh, his Pokemon just using Water Pulse. Unfortunately, we don't outspeed Kranidos. Uh, so. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not the full main, so in not too long time, we are actually going to replace it. Um, it used Stealth Rock, actually, so I don't need to worry about switching out. If it uses Bulldoze there, I do need to um, switch out. <laughs> I, I, I did think about uh, let's uh, <laughs> try and not <laughs> uh, make jokes about Vaporeon and its compatibility, let's say. But, uh, yeah, let's let's just address the elephant in the room. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so, uh, what do I need to do? I need to sell charcoal, XP share, oval stone. Uh, we're going to buy six supers, two antidotes, two paralyzed heals, two awakenings, uh, one escape rope, and 21 repels. Now, annoyingly, we would actually, in initial routes, I actually uh, got the Dusk Ball and played at night time. You're going to see later on 
why we don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, there's a reason you want to play during the daytime for this. So yeah, you can see our levels actually sort of slightly spiraling out of control. It is the police, yes. Uh, we have to go through a lot of uh, officers. Uh, I shouldn't have water pulse there, actually. I should have water beamed. I'm trying to think of uh, my water pulse PP situation is uh, good. Okay, so we repel. Uh, and just as I was talking about earlier, you can see here, no rock smash rocks, but you are blocked off from accessing here early. Okay, that's our first actual spinner we have to worry about. Um, oops. We're gonna get the Chesto Berry. Uh, spinners in this game, it, you will hit some. Like they, there's, It's so difficult with the game running this quickly uh, to not hit them. Um, now, <laughs> when I say this is any percent glitchless, okay, oh wait, no, no, uh, <laughs> I, I was about to say something there and it uh, makes actually no difference. Um, so funnily enough, if you come into this, which actually usually you do, oh that's really bad, uh, I'm going to just play this safe actually. Uh, Oh, um, wait, uh, <laughs> sorry, I was just trying to think what to do, um, because of the tall man, I've not been in that situation for a while, uh, yeah, there's, basically, if you enter this fight, um, if you enter this fight with only one Pokemon, you actually send out a sort of, like, missing note. I really don't think Ladybat actually dies to a Water Pulse, necessarily, so I'm actually going to a uh, Super Potion here, just in case, because it will KO me otherwise, and the shame of being... Oh, I actually didn't have a Water Pulse. Oh, okay. Never mind. Normally, I think you can uh, do that. But yeah, you normally send out a missing note, if, uh, missing number, if you don't have two Pokemon there. Oops. Um, I realised with my uh, water pulse PP, I think I was meant to heal here, which is probably a good idea to do so. Um, anyway, just so if I have any uh, issues with confusion, which is a big issue in this next fight, um, I can just switch out to Turtwig as well, so it makes it safer as well. Uh, also, if I wipe, um, I'm not going to go all the way to uh, Orberg. So we're gonna use the Chesto. Okay, so we're gonna fight Mars. Mars is a lot stronger than she uh, is. Obviously, most trainers are, but particularly boss trainers um, have that. I'm going to. Uh, I think she fakes out here anyway. So we'll use our antidote here. Okay. And that's why we use the, uh, nice. Um, that's why we normally use a Chesto Berry, but getting quite lucky on the, uh, Hypnosis hits. Okay, good confusion. There we go. We just have to go through it, unfortunately. Uh, okay, let's just go into Turtwig. <laughs> Probably should have done that on uh, the sleep turn anyway. 
because now I need to heal this and uh, he'll just use Confuse right now. Anyway. Well, she'll just use Confuse right now anyway. <laughs> Didn't. Hey, good miss. And we're above uh, 20 HP, which is important because Yanma will use Sonic Boom. Okay. A uh, bit of a rough fight there, but... Certainly could have gone worse. So, actually, should really check. I'm gonna. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna heal with potions. Uh, and give the Mystic Water back. Ah, damn it. Yeah, so avoiding those trainers can be tricky because obviously, one, you're at the mercy of how long the uh, spinner takes, uh, and obviously with the bike, it just makes things a bit trickier. Thankfully, if you do, or did I say spinner? Uh, it's been optional. Uh, thankfully, if you do hit a spinner or optional, um, because of how fast <laughs> the battles go, it's much less consequential than in uh, vanilla. Um, but it is obviously not something you want to keep on doing. I'm going to save here uh, because we have to fight Cheryl before we uh, escort her through the forest. And she can be kind of rough. So she's got Chansey and her Chansey actually has a lot of... Nice, okay, straight away para uh, paralysis. Um, her Chansey has a lot of uh, just strong coverage moves, so she's got like Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Hyper Voice, I think. Um, <laughs> nice, okay. Alright, we're, we're just gonna literally have to like... Uh, actually, I've got one more Paralyze here, I'm just gonna have to use it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is a 10% chance to get uh, Paralyzed there, by the way. Um, so getting it three times in a row is... Uh, Obscenely unlucky, um, and this does mean this fight may not be actually possible to win because we still got to get for another two things. We just have no more. Uh, okay, I could do this. Yes, good. Um, whale mode is an issue. I need to roll out like miss. Or a crit. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> We're completely out of healing items, but we've just about made it through. Um, so she does give you a free heal, which is really nice. Um, we're also going to try and just make sure we're going to avoid the grass as much as possible. Because uh, Dreano took out cut trees as well as obviously the rock smash rocks and stuff like that, we can actually avoid that first double fight. Uh, so we're going to start on this. So obviously Chansey having those strong coverage moves is not ideal for when you have to fight it, but for when um, you've got it as a partner, it's pretty good. Uh, case in point. You can see sometimes the uh, instant HP bars don't seem to work. I really don't know why. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but yeah, it can happen. Uh, we've got Scold now. Uh, the Scold's not really going to be used very much, but uh, it is useful to have. Oops. So she gives us return because uh, Rowan never gave us it earlier. And we're going to take a quick detour into the old chateau just simply to get a uh, rare candy. And then straight back out again. Oops. Alright, we're going to enter the Eterna City Center, but we're not going to actually use it. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> Whoops. I meant to then go into here. 
Uh, we'll get the Explorer Kit now. Uh, it, this part's not important. But, what uh, this person does, this NPC gives you, is free of each type of fossil and one old amber. So really useful actually. Um, the fossils themselves actually are useful because they sell for uh, 1,500 each and because you get three of each. Um, and there's obviously a lot of different types. It ends up being a lot of money. And the old amber we're actually going to revive to be our flying friend for Aerodactyl. So we're going to do just that. Uh, we're going to sell the honey as well. Uh, we're going to buy... 10... 5... 2... Uh, we'll buy another heal powder if we've got the money for it. Okay. Oh, I'm getting some lag. I am unfortunately having to play this on an emulator. It's not ideal, but uh, it's okay. Now, you might be thinking, well, why are you going to Mount Coronet, right? Uh, because of the HMs being removed, um, you can actually get through most of the way. So you can actually get to the snow route. Um, now, why am I doing this? Uh, Dreano put a sort of little side quest in to get uh, Gardenia back to um, the gym. And she's actually in the rest house on route 216. So we're going to pick up Max Elixir and uh, Revive and two rare candies on the way as well. Uh, so super useful here. So... Oops. Just the one trainer to fight on the way. Nothing too tricky either. Two flying types, so we can use Aurora Beam. We actually want them to damage us as much as possible. So that's really good. Gonna just be really careful here. Okay, perfect. Uh, just wanted to make sure I was definitely not uh, getting... Um, Hit by that spinner. Uh, they have uh, some quite strong Pokemon. Now, we're going to look for our main. It's not Swine Up, it's not Snova. It is Snow Runt. Uh, hey, I can afford to do that though. So, this is going to be our new main for the rest of the game. And the reason we had to enter the Eterna City... Uh, the Eterna City Center is because we need to do a Death Warp. Well, we don't need to do a Death Warp, but it's faster to do a Death Warp. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the good luck. I was not meant to use that shot there. So, intentionally whiting out here. Blacking out here. And... I hope nobody actually thought we were going to use Snow Run. We have now got our main. Our main is Macaw the Chatot. Now, this is where I need to explain why we use Macaw the Chatot. If you've used Chatot in... Uh, oops. Yes, it's because we like birds. <laughs> um, 
if you've used Chattel in game before, uh, you will actually find that it is not actually very good. <laughs> uh, but uh, Rosemine, or oh, Rosemine, Rosemine uh, is absolutely correct on both accounts. Traded XP obviously gives you massive amounts of XP, so you end up ridiculously overleveled. It also got a huge buff in Renegade Platinum, so it's now got 110 base speed, 110 base special attack, um, and obviously flying type is uh, unreal. Um, like, it's unreal in how good it is as an offensive uh, stab type to have. Uh, we're going to teach Torn. We use it once, but it's more useful than sitting still. We've obviously got Air Cutter, which is very nice. But um, we get a better move in Chatot's signature move. That sucks. It's not that much of an issue, though. That's why we pick up the revive. Um, in Chatter. So Chatter has also been buffed. It is base 90 power. It has a 100% chance to confuse as well. Uh, and we get it very early. We actually get it during the Gardenia fight. So super useful in that regard as well. Uh, it also gets access to other things which we can get during the run. So for example, it gets access to Heat Wave. It gets access to... Um, Uproar, which is also buffed. Uh, Hyper Voice, which is um, obviously great for double uh, battles. It's, it's just a very good Pokemon to use, basically. Alright, and we're going to use our free rare candies now. Uh, this lets us uh, get much better ranges um, on Gardenia. So we're going to taunt uh, Blossom because it can use Stun Spore. And that's really annoying to have to deal with. So we just won't deal with it. Dazzling Gleam doesn't do too much either. So that's also very nice. It also means Breloom... Uh, we're not putting Mac Punch range against Breloom. This is a 14 and 16 because of the uh, berry. This has a Sash. And we get our favorite move now, Chatter. I'm going to teach that with a mirror move. And Chatter just destroys literally everything. So, unfortunately, <laughs> that does make for... Maybe the commentary of this run, not quite as interesting in that it will literally be, oh, and this fight is, we spam chatter. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I can try and talk through the changes that this uh, ROM hack makes. Um, but hopefully, I mean, obviously we're against the grass gym, uh, but hopefully you can already see uh, some of the important changes that makes chatter so uh, powerful in this run. A uh, shout out, by the way, to Headbob. Um... <laughs> yeah, chatting. The chat can keep on chatting. A uh, shout out to Head Bob, by the way, who just ran Unbound uh, before this run. Um, he was the one to actually figure out that uh, Chatter was the best uh, route for this game. I initially was doing solo Infernape. Before I did that, I think the only run done was by underscore POY, uh, who did it with Brinplup. Oh, I say Primplop. I don't know why I'm saying Primplop. Empoleon. Um, oh, yeah, that's fine. I was trying to figure out if that's the right way. They have re uh, Dreano did restructure this uh, thing, so you had to do some fights here. Which is a bit annoying, but it's not too bad. Uh, it makes it so Air Cutter is really useful, because obviously Air Cutter is a doubles move. So this is basically what most double fights will devolve into as well, is either using Air Cutter in this case, or obviously later on we'll be using Hyper Voice. Um, and Vaporeon will be sitting there looking pretty. 
maybe based on our previous discussion, I, that's not what I should say about Vaporeon, but... Oh, stop talking. Uh... Oh, boy, for some reason I thought... <laughs> nah, okay. Uh, you can't avoid that train, I don't know why I tried to. <laughs> uh, you've got Cleffa there. Um, again, like, so... The problem I do have with this hack is that obviously with enhancement and difficulty hacks in general. Oh, I've messed up. Uh, I've messed up. Okay. This should be fine. Whoops. This shouldn't be an issue, but uh, this will be slower as a result. I was meant to teach um, hidden power here. Because we have a Metang. Okay, uh, that's why that's why chat is so good, by the way. Um, just that instant uh, confusion chance. Um, I'll teach Hidden Power now, so I don't forget. Uh, hidden Power for McCaw, by the way, because McCaw's IVs are set, and it has perfect IVs in most things, I think, except attack. Um, it means, basically, uh, it has Hidden Power, Dark, 70 base power. So, actually really good um, for this fight, because of, oh, for this run, because obviously you do run into steel types, uh, and obviously before we get Heat Wave, it's pretty much the only way to deal anything to steel or rock types even as well. So yeah, it's useful for that. Um, you'll find obviously the chatter, 100% chatter, uh, confusing chance is super useful as well. Um, mostly because actually there's a lot of Pokemon in this game uh, that have focus sashes. So confusing those and allowing them to hopefully hit themselves uh, is really useful. Uh, I'm going to center here because my PP is lower than it should be because of having to use chatter against Metang. Again, center doesn't take too long anyway. Ah, <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, yeah, I was saying um, as well. Like my, one of my problems with the uh, difficulty hacks in this, uh, in these veins, is that they will add in a lot of optional trainers. It obviously, isn't conducive to speedrunning. Um, but like, if you're gonna add in these optional trainers, like at least make them a challenge, right? Like you've got that trainer that just literally had a level 23 Cleffa. Okay, so we're gonna go through Cycling Road. Um, the eggs in this game hatch super quick, so it's not actually worth uh, depositing the Togepi egg. It's just going to hatch anyway. Uh, although, because I went into the center, maybe I should have got the egg first, then gone to the center. Uh, but, alas. Okay, so you might be able to see we are actually going in this direction. Uh, this isn't... Um, by choice, you have to do this. What Renegade Platinum does is um, very often you have to go to these extra areas, in particular where there's one of these uh, double or following uh, fights, I suppose you'd sort of say. Uh, oh, that's really annoying, actually. Um, So that's what we have to do here. Now here's where you can see... <sighs> McCaw's biggest problem is Pokemon that have... Uh... Oh, wait, I think I messed up there. <laughs> I've just used uh, Uproar against Haunter. Okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, Pokemon that have Soundproof. Uh, can be a real issue. Uh, this cave, by the way, is really boring. I really don't know what the sort of idea was with uh, making sure that we had to go through this. Like, it's really not an interesting cave. You don't fight anyone. Uh, it's down here. You don't fight anyone. It goes slow because there's like lag in it where it checks if you should have got an encounter where you're using a repel. 
You can't even escape rope out of the cave either. Like once you've done this, because it's not like she like leaves you. So you have to just sort of do this, which slows down the game a bit, in my opinion. Like I sort of get the idea, it's to sort of, I suppose, um stop uh or to incentivize, I suppose, going to areas where you maybe wouldn't bother going otherwise. So for example, like this area, like even casually, I would never go to this area because you've got the other better area where you can get Gibble and Earthquake. So yeah, it kind of seems pointless really. Uh, I still have my pal up. Okay. I'm forgetting things now. Uh, so, I need to go to uh, Orberg Museum um, to revive the Aerodactyl we were talking about earlier. So, we've now got Aerodactyl to use Fly for us. Cool. Okay. Thankfully, because um, where there's areas with a lot of lag, the 60 frames per second patch doesn't speed them up particularly too much, so you can do the movement mostly the same way as you would in vanilla. You just need to be a little bit more careful at times. Oops. So for example there, I just had a slight speed up. Thankfully, I didn't go over the edge because I wouldn't have got that revive otherwise. Alright. And we have to fight Lucas here. Because, why wouldn't we? So here you can see Focus Sash plus uh, Confusion. Obviously it's annoying it used Ice Shard. Wow, okay. Um, there are times, obviously, where we'll have ranges as well. So, obviously, in those cases, uh, it's really useful to have, um... Really useful to have, uh, the Confusion Chance. Like you saw with that Gramble. Um, I never actually mentioned as well, you get boosted XP because of the Trademon. Uh, Dreano actually took out the, um... Sort of, Obedience check. Where is... I don't know why I forgot where that was. Hey, you gotta wait for this spinner. Oops, <laughs> that's a really stupid optional to hit. You're very able to uh, avoid that. I don't know why I did, but... It actually ends up not being too much of an issue because the ne we're going to have another optional fight. Yeah. Um, yeah. Get rid of Uproar for Hyper Voice. We didn't really use Uproar too much, but it's useful where it can be used. Um, we've got another optional trainer here, so Aaron, um, and we actually do fight him, because it's super quick, uh, and if you lose, it doesn't matter, but I think, you know, sorry, you have to fight him, but you, uh, if you do lose, it makes no difference, but obviously you want to be able to, uh, beat him, because obviously he gives out a lot of good XP. And it it's ends up being faster, probably, to win than to lose in this uh, scenario anyway. It, good. I think because I actually hit that spinner, um, or because I hit that optional, uh, I was able to um, KO the uh, Drapion easily. Um, that obviously is also useful. There are actually quite a number of ranges in this game, so if you do hit an optional, again, it will make the ranges easier, inevitably, because you will... 
um, be able to uh, have a higher level because you get so much XP from pretty much anything. Okay, so we have to go through this stuff, obviously, again. I don't know if there was a way that they could have just not made you do this, but maybe not. I don't know. Incentivizing contests, I suppose. Oops. Don't really need to heal here. Um... Alright, because I'm playing on emulator, uh... <laughs> this doesn't display quite as correct. Uh, <sighs> However, 60 FPS, this is an absolute nightmare to um, sort of get away from. Uh, also, oh yeah, Mischievous is part fairy in this game. I don't think I actually mentioned the fact that fairy types are in this game. Uh, sun, so we need to go to the left. Fine. So yeah, because uh, we obviously hit a couple optionals, not an issue, but uh, means this should hopefully be a better range, normally a 7 and 16. Same with Miss Magius, it's 2 and 16, so again, probably still unlikely to hit it. I'm actually going to use that again, and then Air Cutter. Don't want to learn Feather Dance. Shatter Gengar. Spiritomb, normally a 1 in 4. Crit obviously helps there. <laughs> Bayonet, we're just going to hit in power. But you you can basically see why Chatter, it, like, you, the level's just spiraling out of control already. Uh, it's only going to get worse, by the way, because uh, the n next sort of event we do, um, we're actually going to get a Lucky Egg for completing it. So... <laughs> Uh, if you thought the amount of XP we're already getting is ridiculous, um, yeah, it only gets <laughs> uh, worse. Uh, before I go into this fight, just need to remember heal the burn. Don't think I need to heal HP. Need to be a bit careful with my uh, PP. Uh, it gets to 100. Um, there's so many optional fights, and like you can see, obviously, with the type of Pokemon you're fighting as well. So, for example, a Heracross, Snorlax at this level, like you're getting a lot of XP from the fact that the Pokemon just generally are higher level and stronger. So, you like get to level 100 by, I think, Victory Road. And that's not even using a Lucky Egg for the whole time. You use uh, Choice Specs for a lot of fights as well. Oops. So we have to actually go to the Pokemon Mansion. Oops. So this is where Vaporeon can hold its own a bit. Because it can do things like that. Um, I do think... No, we'll be okay. I'm sure. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> uh... Good turn, uh, so we can Aerodactyl, I guess. Uh, that was actually really unfortunate. Um, yeah, definitely. It is normally OP. I, I thought I could get away with not healing there. Um, oh, I shouldn't have put Aerodactyl out, because now Togepi's out, and Togepi's going to get a ton of levels. That is uh, annoying. Uh, we want Nasty Plot. Unfortunately, we can't keep Nasty Plot for much of the game. 
it would actually be super useful if we could keep it, but... Because it's obviously faster and stronger than using X items. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we have to do a lot of, like, grunt fights. They're not too bad, obviously, but, um... Just need to be careful about how we play these fights. We can heal obviously at one point as well. I want to sort of delay the heal as much as possible. So these grunt fights obviously are super easy. Uh, the only one of note, and I'll explain it, is uh, the last one. If you ever did the Pokemon Mansion casually, um, which I'd imagine in a speedrunning uh, marathon, I could imagine not that many people may have, um, you actually have... There's a weird challenge uh, at the end. And I'm going to heal before that challenge because I don't think we're um, looking too great otherwise. We can definitely afford to do this next uh, grunt without healing, but otherwise I'll... Um, PP is looking pretty low. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. Oh no, that's fine. There was, I think there's one room, I can't remember which one it is, that there isn't a bed in. I think it's the one on the right, which is why I start on the right. So, uh, this grunt here, you have to, it's a bit of a gimmick. He fights you three times and you have to win all of the uh, fights in a combined six turns, um, which isn't an issue. Uh, in fact, actually, I could have got away with uh, not healing there, but it's okay. Maybe I couldn't have actually. So, so far we've used three turns. Both Ninjask and Shedinja have um, Focus Sash. Now we actually need to delay a turn, so I'm just going to use Nasty Plot there. And that's six turns. <laughs> it's kind of dumb, but having Nasty Plot for that fight is really, really nice. For that reason. Um, so yeah, I should have really healed before that fight, but let's just do that anyway, because again, it only wastes a couple seconds. Uh, and there's actually quite a difficult... Um, fight coming up here. So, the Grunt that's blocking the way to the Trophy Garden, we've now got an Onslaught Clefairy and a Hapini, and our Hapini gives us our Lucky Egg. Uh, so, we'll equip that straight away. We have, oh yeah, this comes with a Sharp Beak, so that's why Sharp Beak's pretty useful. So, this fight here, we have to do a double fight with uh, Saturn, uh, sort of, I suppose, coercing uh, Mr. Backlot into um, fighting with him. Uh, that's really good that they both they double targeted Staravia. So we just want to get Bronzong out of the way. Perfect. Uh, while we nasty plot, and now we can literally just spam Hyper Voice. Again, Hurricane would be a cool move, but it's just not worth it. Weird they'd both double target me, but there we are. Um, I kind of like this uh, event though, because obviously, I don't know, thinking from a casual perspective, it's quite late in the game before you see, uh, oh wow. Well. Um, it's quite late in the game before you see, double protect, come on. Um, Saturn. It's kind of cool you get to actually fight him, like, fairly close to your first Mars and Jupiter fights. Uh, so he says he's actually got a Manaphy egg for you, uh, which is true. You can actually get a Manaphy right here. Um, and, oops, oh my goodness, that was uh, really close. Oh wait, she just faces down at you. I don't know why I was waiting there. This is the route that is the reason you do not play on at night time. <laughs> So many police. Um, most of them I think actually are weirdly avoidable, but... 
this route's different, uh, structured differently. We also want to play during the day in case of joggers like that. Again, all of them are avoidable, but it's just easier to not need to worry about avoiding them. Uh, it's faster just to fight these uh, as a double. Than to deposit everything for not really much reason otherwise. Uh, we're gonna get this Aoife. Uh, use a repel here. We've got plenty of repels, we've got like even probably too many repels, but I think it's important just in case I wiped somewhere, I'd need the repels to get back, so. It's still useful. We're going to completely skip past Salacion. Uh, Salacion is interesting in the fact that in this game, uh, Dreano included a um, sort of EV grinder simulator type thing in the uh, daycare where you can speak to someone um, and you can basically get uh, sort of get put against a trainer with like six, uh, for example, Victory Bell. Really useful, that hits itself by the way. Um, six Victory Bell, which obviously will give three uh, attack EVs each. So, you can like grind EVs there. Obviously, literally uh, not important for the speed run, but kind of cool casually, I suppose. Okay, that was really good. Uh, I'm gonna just... <sighs> I debated whether it was faster to... Um, fight these uh, as a double, which I think it might still be, but I don't know. It's certainly safer as a um, two singles. I think from what I can see, uh, it's probably the case that it's uh, faster on a perfect scenario to fight these as a double, uh, but it, let's say Vaporeon, uh, for example. Um, Vaporeon gets KO'd, you're then losing time essentially, and obviously the amount of XP uh, Chatot gets is massively decreased, because obviously, I mean, you look at that, like, I literally got 3,200 from that Gyarados, 3,400 from that um, Drift Blim, like, all of that's halved, so, got to think about it that way. Uh, I'm going to pick up a Calcium here, it just helps with some ranges later on. Uh, don't need any other items for money, uh, but the other thing I'm also going to get, because chat is so good, uh, but it's limited to 15 PP, we're actually going to get a PP up there, uh, which is really useful. Um, just to be able to spam chatter more, essentially. Uh, I don't need to sell anything. Uh, the only things we actually need to buy here are 41 X Special. I'm going to buy a few X Special Defense, a few X Defense as well, just in case. I can't imagine there's going to be a scenario where I need them, but... Uh, we're then going to get uh, 31 Bax Repels, and then we're going to spend the rest on... Um, uh, oh, actually no, I am going to need to sell stuff, I think, because I bought too much. Um, no, we're okay, I think. But I did forget, I need to get a second uh, escape route. Um, so only two revives, but I didn't use my revival herbs, so... I hopefully will be fine. There's a couple uh, max revives we can pick up anyway here. Um, so I, <laughs> this gym, I never really liked the puzzle, and then I played it in 60 FPS, and then I realised I really hate the puzzle <laughs> uh, for the two reasons I just did there. I have no idea what I just did on my controller to be able to even manage to do what I just did there, by the way. <laughs> that is, is, I'm just going to say I've, I'm fighting for XP. Sure. There we go. It's definitely not what I'm doing, but... <laughs> so dumb. RNG manipulation to fight this guy, exactly. So we're gonna fight this guy now and he's not going to use detect at all. That's what it's gonna be.
Mercy. Perfect. Well, not perfect. He still used uh, <laughs> still used um, fake out with hit one lead, but otherwise not too bad. Uh, we're also using that RNG minute, despite the fact it completely runs off a different thing, to uh, minute this spinner here as well, so we can just get past him, no problem, right? That was uh, actually a risky pass. I don't really know why I just didn't do the one-step method there. That's I think the one-step method's the easiest thing to do in uh, for this game um, with the 60 FPS patch, but. Uh, because turn turn frame method is just not going to be feasible. All right. Uh, whoops. Let's use calcium. Let's use EPR. Part the chatter. I'm actually going to try and just use up the energy roots first. Should have enough chatters easily. Only uh, concern would be that Lucario has a oh, nice protect. Um, Lucario has a focus ash, so we want him obviously to hear himself. I think we've got enough PP to manage the double we're about to hopefully fight. I say hopefully fight, we're obviously going to fight it. Um, the only issue obviously is, and I may actually save before the next route. Because if I hit something there, that is a absolute nightmare. Obviously, we want to hold out healing until we get to the uh, hotel. So yeah, we have actually a competent uh, partner, <laughs> rather than uh, in the vanilla games where we literally just use. Uh... This is weird. Uh, yeah, in the vanilla games, we just use like Miracle Eye or uh, Gravity and stuff like that. So. Um, I'm gonna hide the voice here. Okay. I've still got some chatters as well, so I can use those. Block me. Don't trust it. I'm going to just take this quite slow, honestly. Okay, cool. Nothing to worry about. Oops. Alright, because I'm a bit... Well, I'm not really low on revives, but again, it's a marathon. I just want to make sure I'm absolutely as safe as possible. Just grab that. It takes like two seconds. I don't think I should need to get any more safety items, as far as I know. So, that's also quite nice. I mean, to be fair, I can't really complain about how this run's gone so far. Okay, very lucky that uh, J 
He did quick spin, but managed to get past just in time. Alright, so Pastoria City works slightly different here. Uh, again, Wakes decided to just go AWOL, uh, just like most of the gym leaders in this uh, hack. Um, so we're gonna go find him. Uh, he's not particularly difficult to find, but again, it's one of those things. I think it's like, you know, in this actual speed run of the vanilla game, you will literally never go into this route apart from to grab literally these two items here. Um, and even then, I think that's for the Manipulus. I don't think the. Uh, um, I don't think the actual uh, Manipt runs do that. Uh, but we get the Move Tutor here. Um, and the Move Tutor, unfortunately, we have to get rid of Nasty Plot. It's really gutting, um, which is why we bought all those X specials, uh, and <laughs> I particularly wa I walked around her particularly to try and avoid that, and still ran in. But we got Heat Wave, so now we have an answer to Steel types at least. Uh, Gold Lock, by the way, is Water Psychic in this game. If you're wondering why that did special, uh, super effective damage. Sorry, uh, we have to get past this spinner now twice. Uh, Dreano made ATM for Bug Buzz, which uh, Chatot can learn, and Bug Buzz is very useful um, at particular points, so it's worth grabbing. There we go. Alright, these two, I'm pretty sure it is faster to fight as a double. So already we're going to miss Nasty Plot because we have to use the next special here. I don't think it's actually, you could heal in this fight, like you could heal uh, McCall with Vaporeon on this turn, but I just don't think it's worth it. So you have to fight these guys, and then, here's Wake. So it was important we taught uh, Fly to Aerodactyl on that uh, Max Repel menu we did earlier. So, Rival 4, again, you saw from Rival 3, his team's already getting very strong, so, like, this looks like his final team, essentially. Like, they're all fully evolved. They're all strong. Uh, we want a Confusion hit here. Nice. Aerocross just saves some PP, we've got Heat Wave, and also it saves a bit of text because he has a uh, Flying Resist Berry. Cobra Berry, is it? I can't remember. Snorlax doesn't die to a Chatter, so again, would be useful if he uh, gets confused here. Nice. Use Hyper Voice to finish him off. Yeah, it's going well. Can't complain. Uh, so, only difference with this gym. Obviously, 60 FPS makes it really quick, but you can see that there is perma rain in this gym, which is really fun to deal with um, normally. But for us, we basically just say, who cares? Uh, we'll just one-shot everything anyway. So, doesn't bother us at all. Wake himself can be annoying, uh, you'll see why that is later on. He's basically got something with uh, Focus Sash and Speed Boost. He's also got, uh, like, not all of his Pokemon are one shot, so we need to set up an X special. Not to say that that's that much of an issue, but um, it can be a bit annoying.
Yeah, Hurricane would have been cool. Um, there is actually a TM for Hurricane, and you can see how he was able to learn out the uh, move tutor, but it's just obviously not worth at any other point, because chats are too good. But yeah, it's ironic. You sort of see how strong um, Flying Stab really is from this run. Like, chat is just so good. Uh... I think you d <sighs> there isn't a run of it yet. Maybe I will do at some point. Um, but in uh, another one of Dreyano's hacks, uh, Blaze Black Vault White 2, obviously a hack of Black and White 2, um, I'm certain the fastest way to go about doing that run uh, is 100% um, using Pidgeot. Because Pidgeot in that game has been buffed, so it's probably honestly more similar to Mega Pidgeot than it is to uh, Vanilla. Okay. Uh, so we need to energy root here. Don't think we need to do anything else. But yeah, part of the reason we um, didn't want to heal with uh, Vaporeon beforehand is because we actually really want to keep um, our last used item as uh, that basically uh, X special. So again, if Sharpedo, which is the uh, Pokemon we were talking about earlier, if it hits itself in Confusion, this fight's super easy. If it doesn't, it becomes a bit more tricky. So let's see. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, this this fight's a joke if that happens. Um, Voxel can be an issue, I think. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. <laughs> so, when I said this fight's a joke, uh, I may not have been fully serious. Uh, we'll use a Max Revive, um, just because... Obviously, it looks like, I think, from a normal revive, um, it's going to do a bit too much there. There we go. I'm trying to think if it's got anything more with Swift Swim. Ludicolo, this has Rain Dish, so it's okay. Alright, so, badge for number five. Well, could you just imagine like how good every Pokemon speedrun would be with uh, this instant text? Oops. Some movement mistake. Alright. Obviously low on PP, so we'll heal. Get down! Oh my god. <laughs> There's sometimes just gonna be stupid mistakes like that I'll make. Like, just because you're too worried to like go too far, so you're just like very lightly pressing and you just end up turn framing. It's a sort of issue of the uh, 60 FPS patch. Alright, so we get the Secret Potion, we're going to go to the Fog Root, and uh, yeah, I'll spoil it for you now. Um, probably the best addition <laughs> Dre made to this game. Um, you can probably tell what I'm about to say. Uh, there is no fog on the Fog Root. Obviously super useful because... Yeah. <laughs> Fog is potentially the worst mechanic uh, Pokemon's ever put in. I would say. And it's one of the things BDSP did right, that they just didn't bring it back in its uh, original state.
That's the annoying thing about Heatwave, obviously 90 accuracy. So, there will probably be a couple misses, I'm sure that won't be the only one. Okay, uh, we need to equip the Shark Beak here because it's super useful for this next fight. It's weird with such a level advantage, we still need just a little bit extra, but... Obviously, remember that most, uh, or sorry, all of the rival fights, all of the gym leader fights, all of the uh, galactic boss fights, um, all have 31 IVs and everything, so it's always going to be a slight issue as a result there. Uh, this Licky Licky is actually the bigger issue. Obviously, I think because we hit some optionals, we may have been high enough level it wouldn't have mattered, but didn't want to risk it. And it, the annoying, obviously, part of it is, as well, is we actually only use that Shard Beak for one fight. It's kind of dumb, but... So this guy gives us all three specs, no matter what time of day it is, which is probably what makes most sense. I'm just gonna buy some Hypers, Revives there... Um, while we're already there anyway. Oops. So, we're going to equip the choice specs. Um, heal, and something else. We'll see a thing. Max power. Oops. So we don't need the choice specs for this fight, but we obviously may as well just uh, use them anyway. We do however need it for this fight coming up, uh, Cyrus 1. Which unfortunately, uh, because we have the choice specs, we actually need to heat wave, which we've already missed one as well. Great. <laughs> That's, uh, because of this Magna Zone, um, hidden power uh, does not do enough. If we don't heat wave, we can't do that. Um, we'd have to X special, which I suppose wouldn't be too bad, but um, we want the choice specs for other things later on anyway. We're not actually going to go to Canalave, we're actually going to go to the Powell Park. Uh, again, a little additional detour here we have to do. Um, I'm going to just, yeah, wait that one out because uh, it is scary. Guys, a spinner. So we get to enjoy, sort of, this song, which you don't get to hear until the post game.
And here's another song you don't get to enjoy until the post game that you wouldn't normally hear. So you have to fight these guys before doing, uh, progressing with the story. I have no idea how much Empoleon's gonna do, so I'm just gonna heal quickly. We can hit the battle of rest. But yeah, this is probably one of the harder fights, weirdly, which we're still gonna hopefully uh, be perfectly fine with. But yeah. Get to hear the front Frontier Brain and Route 225. Two of like the best songs in the game, so kinda really good. Oh yeah, you'll start to see like things like that pop up. It's alright, we got literally chat up. So yeah, we have to get T for the uh, guard before kind of leave. We're gonna get this uh, rare candy. Now again, when we're talking about the theme, actually, wait, we gotta go through this rival fight first. This rival fight's a joke. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, talking about the theme, obviously going into unexplored areas uh, that you, you can normally skip over, or unexplored, I should say, probably uh, optional areas. Um, we have to go through Iron Island. Um, so we don't just go there for strength, we have to go there for other things as well. Or for story prog progression, I should say. It's a shame we obviously have to conserve uh, chat PP, so that's why we uh, can't just use um, chatter there and hope for confusion chance. Obviously, Stone Edge is a bit risky, but it's okay. Alright, we're gonna heal. Hit Earth Ring, use Protect, so we'll X Special there. You can see Riley has actually a very, very strong team. Oh, whoops, we've already got the Rapal on still. So yeah, like... Problem with the indoor areas is they go actually a lot quicker. I just want to make sure not <laughs> running into anything. I'm just trying to remember my way here. There's basically a route, not that way, where you don't really need to fight too much. I think we do have to fight these guys. But again, because we've got basically infinite healing, 
and we're fighting doubles with a Lucario that can actually do, like, <laughs> actually do stuff. An actual competent Lucario. Um, we can just spam Hyper Voice in these fights and it's really no issue. Uh, the only issue there will be for this one is there's a Cradilly coming up. So we're just hoping obviously Lucario uses Meteor Mash or might have close combat as well, but I'm pretty sure it mostly just goes for Meteor Mash. Oh, High Jump Kick. Okay. So we're hoping it goes for one of those two things. It should do. I can't see a reason why it wouldn't. There we go. Good. Well, obviously you lose time if High Jump Kick misses and then it KOs Cradilly or something like that. So again, we're just going to pipe the voice here. Now we've got strength. Um, you can obviously exit out the normal way, but it's quicker to escape rope. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Forgot to do the important part. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> a really annoying time loss, actually, because of this scene. Um, yeah, you're meant to, uh, go in here and speak to Byron. There we go. Oops. So obviously it's quite nice that they use the uh, updated type chart for this because obviously using dark type on steels is nice. Whoops, it's fine. Uh, but most of the time we will need to be using heat wave still. It's really annoying, but let's just hope for not too many misses. Okay, now eight pot uh, potential ones, just the one miss, so that's not an issue. Uh, healing's not going to lose us too much time because we need to go into the menu and Aoife Heat Wave anyway. So let's do that. And then just use High Potion because we're closer to that. Uh, Byron can be an issue, um, obviously because of Heat Wave and how it can miss. Bigger issue is actually his Agron, which has a Focus Sash. Uh, if it lives, which it will, obviously, because it has a Focus Sash, if Head Smash uh, connects, it is a range to KO. So I KO'd. Um, so I need to use a Max Revive.
Really, maybe using growl or tra uh, rather charm there may be actually a better plan. And then heal on the second turn. I should do that for another time because if if if, uh, if he wave misses there, it's obviously very annoying. Uh, we need to X special here because Bastion will live. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna just need to heal the poison. Not f heal to full, but that will be close enough. Saturn's not particularly. Um, not an issue. Oops. All right, we could milk time it for content, but. How quick the text skips over, I'd mess up anyway. Um, maybe I didn't need to heal the poison, I could just hotel healed. Um, I'm not gonna hotel heal though. I'm gonna uh... heal at the mum's house. Come on, get on the bike. I think that's gonna be more important. Oh, that was very close. I hate this in vanilla, <laughs> and I hate it even more in 60 FPS. Alright, cool. That's fine. Uh, oh, I accidentally get up, didn't I? Praise chatter.
Nice. Normally I feel like that doesn't actually KO, even if he hit, gets hit by confusion. So I haven't been talking much. Uh, <laughs> I should probably uh, talk a bit more. Talk concentrating, realising. I don't want this to get boring. Uh, So, um, this, I mean, obviously all of this is basically the same as uh, Vanilla Platinum anyway. Um, so we're going to follow the same sort of events and we're going to now uh, fly to uh, Celestic Town to go actually this time properly to uh, um, Snow Point. So again, talking about great music, we're going to hear the... Uh, 216, 217 theme in full. Oops. Obviously going to have to be interrupted by a couple of fights, but... Yeah, Focus Blast here. I think... I can't remember if Chattel even can learn Focus Blast, but it's not useful for the runs, so... And hell, we got Bug Buzz, like, <laughs> nearly an hour ago, probably, uh, and that's just not been useful at all yet. We are, however, coming up to what I probably consider the hardest fight in the game. That's kind of <laughs> fun, at least. You can see that uh, he took out like the really massive snow effects, like the really like strong one. We don't need to get any uh, things, by the way. Any items? The rare candy was tempting, but. Rock Climb has changed positions, so that's why you may have noticed that uh, item ball wasn't there and we didn't pick anything up. Uh, you will see what exactly, how we get it now, again. <laughs> theme of uh, this hack, this run, is going into uh, optional areas, so you can probably guess, if you know this game, what area we're going to be going to. Uh, I think that was the wrong way. Oh look, there's earthquakes going on. What could that be? I wonder. Oh, I never rare candy, did I? Um, I'm actually going to need to do that now. I was meant to do this ages ago, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that, that, that's uh, hopefully going to make this a little bit easier, anyway. Alright, okay, so... You can see there, we've got a blissy with light screen, so you can already tell this is going to be a bit of a nightmare.
It's maybe thinking like, is it that bad to have to really uh Is it that bad to have to obviously get past um Blissey? But the main thing isn't actually the Blissey, it's this Tyranitar. Uh I Oh, this is really bad actually. <laughs> I don't want to use struggle. What is this going to use? Okay. We, we, I think we're just going to have to use struggle, right? Oh, that yeah, that's not going to work. Um, how do I do this? Okay, I'm going to have to like revive Togepi. <laughs> Switch in Togepi. Oh wait, hang on. I need to revive two things. <laughs> Wait, oh no, <laughs> how do I do this? I, I am going to have to struggle, I think. Uh, this is not something I had to do with. I think normally I take the heal house. <laughs> so normally this isn't an issue in terms of the amount of hyper voice I've got. All right, he's going to uh, get knocked out by the sunstorm now anyway. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> that was so stupid. Alright, so we gotta do this now. Uh, wait, I've already got Max Repel uh, up. Am I playing? Yeah. <laughs> the stream hasn't frozen, right? I don't think. I hope not. Uh, oh no, this is this one. So we have to help subdue Reg Regigigas and our reward for doing so. We don't actually fight it, by the way, which is weird. I thought that could have been like an opportune time to have a fight against like a level, I don't know, 90 Regigigas without... Uh... Doom's not frozen. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a strange question. <laughs> okay, good though. Um... Yeah, it would have been a perfect thing to have like, I don't know, fight like a super boss, maybe like a level 70 Regigigas, but instead of slow start, it has like huge power, something like that. <laughs> yeah, speeder on fire red, that's the better thing to do. Uh, we're level 80 plus already because the Chatots traded. Uh, we um, had uh, the Lucky Egg on for a lot of the run as well. That's our level 80 plus. Uh, I healed, didn't I? Yes. Okay, so we, we just need to spam chatter. Uh, whereas the last fight was the probably most difficult if things go wrong, this fight is the most annoying. Um, there's lots of different reasons why it's annoying. Uh, I'll explain them as they come. So probably it'll be Glaceon next. So Glaceon has... Uh, there we go. So Glaceon has Snowcloak and Double Team, because why wouldn't they? Um, this is going to use Ice Shard. Oh crunch, okay. Um, this has a Focus Sash. So again, if it doesn't hurt itself in Confusion, it's a bit of an annoyance. Um, Wall Rain, Wall Rain's fine. We are actually going to have to heal against Mamoswine. Mamoswine has Ice Shard, and by the time I think Mamoswine comes out, uh, I don't trust it to not use it. Okay, Stone Edge. That's fine. Alright, so, yeah, we're through. <laughs> Wait, this has snow cloak as well, I think. Maybe? I can't remember. I don't have it in my notes that this has snow cloak, but definitely Glaceon did, as you can see. Yeah, I'm from the UK. From England. Alright. Okay, so. Uh. I can't remember, do we, is our Max Repel still on? I think it is. Oh, I never talked wrong. 
climb. I was meant to do that when I uh, escape roped. So that's where we get. Uh, so that's where we get uh, Turtwig. I think I said at the start of the run. Uh, really useful that it gets uh, rock climb because nothing else does. Okay, now we've got to do all the galactic stuff in Veilstone. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna take a drink next time I'm in a part where I don't need to do too much. That wasn't safe, by the way. I, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> it worked, though. So yeah, that, that's why like your reaction times and stuff like that obviously um, really ends up being an issue. Probably should have heat waved here actually. Oh no, probably would have definitely survived. I'm pretty certain this probably has thick fat. I don't actually have notes for this spinner. Just I suppose my notes would just be don't hit it. Oh yeah, free heal soon anyway, so it doesn't matter too much what uh, move I use. So I get the galactic key, open the door, and back into the next part. And just like vanilla, we bait this one up so we don't have to fight the one on the left, on the right, sorry, even. Okay, sleep in the bed. So, really good thing about obviously Heat Wave, even though I've been basically saying how bad Heat Wave is, it is a double uh, move. Does that come into effect though? No, it's still actually quicker to use uh, Hyper Voice. There's still KOs Fortress with specs on, so just seems a bit pointless really, but. One day we won't have to use Heat Wave, I'm certain it could be... I don't think it will ever be routed out, actually. I think uh, Byron would just be too slow without it, but... Okay, my last uh, used item definitely isn't the X special, so I need to make sure I take that into account because I need X special here. Why well, we use Hyper Voice rather than Chatter here? Because obviously Magnus own quad resists. 
That's a really annoying crypt. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I might actually pick up both the uh, full uh, revives. In Mount Coronet. Nearly there, nearly there. Stop that. So I need to heal here. Um, it will use fake out anyway. But it didn't use fake out, did it? Dunk shot twice. It has a sash, so it doesn't matter if uh, hidden power doesn't KO there. I'm actually going to pick up this full restore here. Um, just again, I said I wouldn't need any more safety items, but I definitely think I do. Um, fortunately, these last few fights have been a bit rough. Uh, so, let's fly to Orberg. Even when I do that movement correct, I still worry about messing up there, so I sort of just wait. Uh... Oops. Definitely do not want to be on the bike here, because you don't want to fall down at that point. And now we can get on the bike. Said I'll grab both the uh, max revives. Well, there's a max revive and a revival herb. But obviously, they do the same thing. Again, I feel like that would sort of be a perfect opportune uh, moment for a fight. But oh, <laughs> that is <laughs> not how that should have gone, but okay, fine. Okay, let's see if I can remember where the Revival Herb is, I'm pretty sure it's around here. There we go. Damn, quick spun. Heat wave here. He gives you a free heal, which is really nice, really uh, useful. Elixir, and then <clears throat> I don't think we need the rare candy or the uh, full restore here. Uh, pipe.
Hello. Alright, so for this fight, we're just gonna spam Hyper Voice. Uh, I think he KOs everything, I don't think there's any issues with doing so. Um, weirdly for the next fight, so the next fight obviously we... Uh, well, I suppose it's not that weird, because uh, next fight we have a competent partner with us. Um, we'll obviously have Barry for the uh, Mars and Jupiter fight. But we actually don't want to be spamming um, Hyper Voice, we actually want to just be spamming Chatter, because Chatter... We try and just Chatter like the best... Um, Pokemon um, that we want out of the way essentially, while hopefully Barry will actually do something to the uh, other ones. I actually need to have a bathroom break, so I'm gonna go and uh, when the cutscene happens with the uh, Mesprit uh, Uxie and Azelf, but Obviously, the issue with that one is, um, it's definitely going to, like, it, the cutscene goes quicker. So, there will be a bit of inactivity there, just <laughs> bear with me. Oh, uh, Electivire is electric fighting, by the way, in case you were wondering why, um, I used chatter on that rather than anything else. We obviously want uh, Bronzong out of the way. Hopefully, we rely on Infernape to do that for us. That's annoying. Okay, I do not trust uh, Heracross trying to kill Yan Mega. I do, however, trust it to try and KO Brugly if it didn't die. <laughs> All right, it's still go this fight's still going fine. Like obviously, even if we lose a bit of time here and there, it's not an issue. Brelum just couldn't KO it. I'm sorry, his technician form part, uh, force palm didn't KO. To be fair. Alright, just getting ready. I know there's still a little bit of time before. Normally I should be able to not need to go to the bathroom in a three hour run, but apologies. Okay, so this scene looks kind of ridiculous in 60 frames per second because it's just completely desynced. Like that part happens so much quicker.
What you did distortion world isn't sped up more uh, with this. It's kind of a bit of a laggy area, so some parts are like you just saw there; it was a little bit faster, but. Otherwise, it's still about the same speed. As the coolest this area is, it's obviously like, kind of, uh, I don't know, for a speedrun, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> it's just a whole load of nothing, really. But yeah, definitely the first time I remember seeing this as a kid. Uh, like, um, it was super cool. As well was obviously because, like, I didn't understand fully what I was doing. Not because I was, like, that young, but, like, um, oh, what am I doing? It's uh, the next one I go right. Um, but like, I think it was when I just learned about flashcards. So I had this on my R4 uh, in Japanese. So I just didn't have a clue what I was doing up to this point. Other than what I knew already from um, playing Diamond and Pearl. I don't want to do what I've done before, where I've uh, managed to uh, put the boulder in the wrong hole, and it's uh, yeah, disaster. I'm just going to take this part a bit slower for that exact reason. Okay, so we got Cyrus here. Um, <laughs> this is really cool actually. You actually do a double fight with Palki and Dialga. Yeah, it's kind of stupid that's the case in my opinion I really don't like the fact that it isn't oh 
Oh, whoops. So we have to do that, which we didn't get damaged for, which is really good. I can't remember if you get, actually, maybe you get, uh... You might get healed between the fights. Yeah, you do. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, double. Oh, yeah, of course. I forgot about that, that being the case. <laughs> That's in that game. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, shh. Uh, he's going to heal. It, why didn't he heal? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, he's not gonna heal. Uh, this is why we get the max revives, right? I don't think we need to uh, X special again. Pretty sure Hyper Voice should KO everything from here. I think that the only main reason you Hyper Voice is because of Magna Zone. Oh, we bet you X special, sorry. Although hyper voice as well, because obviously you don't want to be. Uh, using um, chatter against some of the quad resistor. Right, so we got Giratina here. Um, in older routes, I used to actually catch it uh, because it was useful um, to help like revive. It's not worth it. It really isn't. It is level 70. It comes with the uh, Grissius Orb as well, which is kind of cool. So you get like... Um, you get Origin Form straight away without having to go into the post-game. Okay, go Sand Gem for literally the most pointless thing. I'm not even gonna bike. Oh, I still bonked. And that's it. And off to Sunny Shore. That's so unlucky to get an encounter there. <laughs> we could double the McCaw. So because of that Rock Smash Rock not being there, um, you get to avoid the uh, spinner um, without losing time, so that's kind of cool. It's this next gym is kind of annoying, obviously Electric Gym uh, is always going to be um, a bit annoying for Chatot. It will KO most things, but there are some things that it will, uh, is not going to be able to. in the lighthouse. <laughs> you may have just spotted a cameo of one of, I think, I think, is it Dahlia? I think it is. I think it's Dahlia, uh, one of the Frontier Brains. I think you can fight her. We're not going to do that. Sorry. Wow. 
Oh my god. Unfortunately, obviously, I think the worst part about this gym, um, not the spinner coming up, this one is fine, but there's the spinner in the next room that you have to pass, I think, three times, uh, and it's really awkward to do so, because um, you kind of need to get into his vision range and then um, sort of get out of it again. And obviously, at 60 FPS, it's even harder than it is in vanilla, so... I'm not looking forward to doing that again, <laughs> twice. I should have to heat wave these guys because of PP reasons. And Magnus. So this one we need to actually X special. Uh, Ampharos is part dragon, so we can't just heatwave. And hidden power is not strong enough otherwise. Can't use a uh, hyper voice either because of electrode. Electrode has soundproof. We're gonna run into another one of those that has soundproof uh, soon. Okay, so we need to heal, and we are now finally, finally, can you believe it, uh, going to teach Bug Buzz over Hidden Power. I closed the menu with B, <laughs> so I think I ran that tile. Alright, uh, I guess we'll hide voice here, that makes most sense I think. Yes, an electrode. <laughs> that really sucks. Uh, we actually have to heat wave here. There's nothing else we can use. And why would heat wave not let us down once again? It is the worst move in the game. I'm sorry. It is. Alright, so Volknell, this is the main reason we get Bug Buzz, and it, uh, Bug Buzz is also useful in the uh, Elite Four as well. Uh, so we need to heal Paralysis here. It will uh, heal anyway, and then uh, it won't have its Focus Sash anymore. It's not too worried there. KO okay, Raichu with it. So I'm going to send out Rotom Wash. So he has two Rotom forms. He has Rotom Wash, uh, which is perfectly fine. And now he's got Rotom Heat. Now, Rotom Heat's not actually that much of an issue, but we are going to need to X Special here. So will o is perfectly fine. Now, normally, actually, we get a double KO on Electivire. Um, it looks like that's not going to be the case, actually. Normally, I'm certain Rotom Heat normally goes for, like, Discharge or something. Or Thunderbolt. But yeah, normally, actually, we... Well, normally we don't KO Electivire there, and it uses, um, I, f I can't remember if they put Wild Charge in the game, or if they put, uh, Volt, or if they gave it Volt Tackle. Maybe, I think it's probably more likely the latter. Um, so I think that's what they did, and then you get a double KO, which is quite funny, because that's actually what you, uh, aim for in the Minute Plus Run of Platinum. 
so we're going to go get Waterfall from Jasmine, we're going to teach it, Max Repel, and we're going to heal. Just try and remember to actually do all those things. Sorry, I accidentally left. Wait. Oh, I'm so stupid. You don't need to teach. You should teach Waterfall later, like earlier on. You get Waterfall as a uh, HM from... Uh, yeah, as a HM from um, Wake. And that was just me being uh, stupid. Oops. Uh, 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 I have no idea where this uh, swim is going to be, so we'll just take it really careful there. Uh, whoops. Come on. God damn it. You can see we're like nearing on uh, level 100, and we are actually weirdly will need to have uh, the lucky egg on at one point. Or no, I think we get the wise. We use the wise glasses actually, so no more lucky egg. Just pause there slightly. Uh, it is faster to go on the right hand side, but. Um, it's safer to do the left side. Alright, this first ace trainer is the worst because it starts with a blissy uh, with calm mind and soft boiled. So, what you want is it to hit itself in confusion. If it does that, easy fight. I say it's an easy fight, actually, that's a lie. Uh, <laughs> she does have an Aggron here. Obviously, you hope for Head Smash, Miss, or Confusion, or just Live. Um, it doesn't matter if it hits and you live, because we're going to heal straight after this fight anyway. Okay, so this next Ace Trainer, uh, we can actually skip. Because there's no Strength Puzzle there now. Because all the Strength from Rock Smash Rocks just got taken out. So we're just going to walk straight away and get into a battle with this one. Magcargo is a range. It's favourable at 97. Um, but it can be an issue. I don't think it can do that much in retaliation, to be fair. And I don't remember if this Ace Trainer even has items, so... It's not that much of an issue, I suppose, really. I'm just trying to be dramatic. <laughs> trying to add like these fights are just... <laughs> more strategic than spam chatter, spam hyper voice, spam bug buzz. Uh, uh, right, really careful here, because I definitely hit him a lot. I hit him a lot in vanilla, let alone 60 FPS. Uh, and we're going to equip the wise glasses here, actually, uh, just because it's on the same menu. Saves us having to do it next. Does mean this uh, Dragon Tamer, the Kingdra, I don't think, because I'm using wise glasses and not a uh, Lucky Egg, I don't think it will be an issue, and I'm also level 99, so... Mm. 
we should be fine here. Uh, have I got enough chatters left? I'm just I'm gonna hyperpoise this Charizard. I think we, we get healed after the next fight anyway. We could also take that heal really, but we don't need to. So, last optional area we need to do, which is actually a post-game area, um, we need to find Marley first. And this is why we won the Wise Glasses, because we won the Heat Wave to KO here. Crit is obviously useful. I don't think we had to get a crit there. But it's obviously very nice we did. And we're level 100. Very nice. So, I obviously think sometimes maybe it's worth getting stuff earlier, just so we can uh, skip the um, extra text box anyway, but I really don't think it matters too much. Uh, oh, I was meant to actually equip the choice specs here, but, uh, oh whoops, it was already on my last item anyway. Um, we're just going to spam Hyper Voice anyway. Uh, we did not get healed. Why did I get healed there? You get healed in all the other ones. Very strange. Alright, in which case actually not equipping the choice specs there might actually be very useful because if I run out of Hyper Voice here, which I might, uh, maybe not actually. Uh, I'll, I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, you're one protect away from running out there. So I would have had to have relied on Marley and struggled my way through. Uh, right, this is where I want the choice specs on. I think actually normally I'm meant to waste some steps there, so I max repel here as well, but... It's really not going to be uh, too much of an issue. So, because there's a lot of ghost types, we need to heat wave rather than anything else. Arcanine will uh, clean up anyway. Anything we don't KO. It saves a small amount of time, like it really doesn't save much because the text is instant anyway, but it does save that text box popping up pretty much every time I earn XP, uh, which is obviously actually does pop up a lot. Um, so yeah, it definitely saves a little bit. So that's why I was thinking whether there may be a route I could do. Why is he switching out? I've not seen that before. <laughs> um, there may be a route I could do where I could get level 100 earlier, and maybe that might save a lot more time. but. I don't know, it seemed like the ways to get 100 earlier just cost more time than it saves. So for example, like picking up rare candies and uh, having lucky egg on fights where you would rather have choice specs, for example. Um, but maybe there might be a way of sorting it. Like, there's definitely plenty of scope for more optimised routing for this game. Uh, I want to speak... Uh, Wait, I'm already... <laughs> I don't know why I did that, I'm already uh, at max health. Um, I can skip this person. I'm just going to play it safe against this. I really don't like <laughs> this route too much. You can actually, like, it's fairly easy to skip everyone, but it's... Not, uh something I'm too familiar with so sometimes I'm a bit like cautious going through it especially because I think this run's quite good so far so I don't really want to almost like mess up at the final hurdle I suppose
Uh, okay, this is where I need to heal. Um, although I'm only healing, like, some uh, chatter PP, it's still worth it. Uh, right, so I just need to follow the same route I went along. Alright, uh, I'm already fully healed. I think the only thing I'll need to do is... Uh, let's buy some of these. I don't think I'd need these, but let's just go anyway. Uh, no, I'm going to max Alexa here. Okay, so, um, the Elite Four, slightly different in this game in that they have two potential teams. Um, for the most part, it doesn't actually change anything. Uh, so, for example, right here, like, I just <laughs> spam chatter, uh, and it could, like, it's gonna destroy Aaron's, both of Aaron's teams, basically. Um, it matters a little bit more for Bertha, and it matters a little bit more for Cynthia. Um, I want a particular team for Flint, because I really like it. Uh, it takes off his it basically just buffs his diamond and pearl team which I really like because obviously like it always gets memed on it's like oh fire type elite four and he's only got two fire types actually it like makes it a really cool team uh, so I don't need to heal so I want the hip out on team here good 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 uh, the T-Tar uh, team is a bit rough, honestly. Obviously both are sand-based, but like... Yeah, T-Tar team is just ugh, really bad. That's obviously very annoying. She's gonna heal here, so let's charm. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, really, this probably would have been a better idea for a... Uh, Using, um, the Max Revive, but I may need it for the Cynthia, for example, so. Okay, cool. Ugh. 
God damn it. Alright, now I will need to actually use the Max Revive. Could have. Uh, it could have been something I could have done there. <laughs> I think, to be fair, the X special is mostly for Rhyperia and uh, Golem. What? Oh, it's got Sand Veil. Are you serious? I didn't even know it had Sand Veil. <laughs> this doesn't have Sand Veil. This does have Sand Veil. Let's just full restore, just in case. <laughs> oh, it's got Poison Heal. Never mind. Maybe one of our other ones does. Right, now I need to <laughs> do a lot of reviving. Oops. Maxi for on Chatter. A uh, high potion recall. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> okay, boring team, unfortunately. Boring, classic, actual sun team. I don't think of it's got anything with chlorophyll. No, but this may have. I was going to say, I didn't know if that had any uh, priority. So, okay. Lucian's just bug buzz spam. Uh, again, Lucian's not that interesting. Whoops. Okay. That was a mistake by me. <laughs> but I did get punished for it. Special defense drop. And that's fine. We can just uh, revive and go into a. Uh, just use Chatter if he heals. He doesn't. It's just hyper voice. So we're going to revive Togepi. I don't think we'd need to, but did not mean to hyper potion Togepi, obviously. Um, I should probably have explained like it's uh, slower to deposit all the um, HM users and team members rather than just watch them in the Hall of Fame. But uh, let's go, Cynthia. Okay, we want Lopony here. Viratu. Okay, interesting. Uh, right, X special now. I'm going to keep the burn because I really don't think it's going to matter too much. We just didn't want to see Milotic lead because Milotic uses uh, <laughs> um, Miracle and uh, has um, Light Screen. So, turns out Cynthia's the easiest <laughs> of the, uh, things. So, yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, kind of anticlimactic, but there you go. Turns out Bertha is the true final boss. Um, but time will be coming up soon.
don't know why the emulator's lagging now. Fine. Alright, let me see what time I got. So I didn't I didn't bother timing it myself. <laughs> so I just thought it'd be too much pressure. Uh whoa, 24422. I mean my record's not good, but that is now <laughs> that is now world record. <laughs> Oh, it's not timed properly? Okay, so it might not be record. <laughs> I'll retime it, but it could be record. So, I was I was happy with that run, to be fair. It was, um, there was obviously parts that weren't good, but there were parts that were fine. Um, obviously, I haven't done many runs of this at all, so the record itself is not particularly uh, <laughs> great. But, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm happy with that for a marathon run, for sure. <laughs> 